so I am on my way to our backyard where Jan and Diana discovered something growing on my tree. Gotcha, can I? <laughs> so Jan and Diana found this chicken of the woods. Not in the woods, but in our backyard. It grows on a tree. <laughs> yep, it grows on a tree. And if you have mushrooms growing on your trees, if it looks like this, the chicken of the wood. Cut that shit off and go eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can fry it. You oh can dehydrate it. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna do yeah. it. I'm not gonna oh. cut you. Oh, I wasn't worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> that knife is as big as Diana. I was on fire, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I came out here with a butter knife, so. <laughs> the butter knife was not cutting it. It was like, nope. And it's weird, it's just in one tree. I well, looked said, at all the trees. He said the tree developed this crack. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Coming out of the crack. But it started off and it looked like somebody had spray foam go. insulation. Yeah. Here you go, Jan. Thank you. <laughs> That's my share. Uh, We're gonna go clean it up and get it in the dehydrator. Yeah. So we all have a big old chunk. I've got it and in the <laughs> She's got it in a shirt. They have been eyeing up that mushroom since they got here on Friday. And we are going to, well, probably they. They are going to wash it. We're going to get it in the dehydrator. And they're going to take it take I'll it take back to Missouri. So if you never process chicken out of the woods chicken before, the woods. Huh. I'll show you how it's done. Look at this mushroom. Did you guys take the stick out? It's as big as my head. Yes, Look at that. Yesterday. Turn it the other way. It's prettier. <laughs> Jan and Chris are over here. Jan's cutting the wood out. Chris is picking bugs out. Yep. Diana's over here washing. She did my dishes. Thank you. You're welcome. And we're just laying it out on the trays. Diana advised us to put it in the dehydrator on the fruit and veggie setting. How long you think it will take, Maybe. Diana? Probably till tonight, at least. Okay, till tonight. Dehydrate it till tonight. And you just break them up into chunks and put them on your trays and set them for 135. We are back from our adventure. Diana is slicing up what wouldn't fit on the dehydrator. And we are frying it in the cast iron pan with a shitload of butter because that is important salt pepper and some garlic don't that look delicious I wish that you could smell it so it is the next night and all of our mushrooms have dehydrated. We have cooked some up and we actually ended up with cooked ones. So when you wanna freeze them, you actually cook them out to get all the moisture out of them. So we just seasoned them up. This is garlic and salt and pepper. And then we actually did a lemon pepper one that was really good so we got three bags of that and they're just in like family sized portions and then i sent jan and diana back to missouri with a quart jar of dehydrated mushrooms and i think they took a gallon sized baggie full so they each got a decent amount and then i got three jars as well so this is what they look like when they're all dehydrated and they don't weigh anything they just break apart you can break them up 
put them right in soups or stews or anything that you want to use them for like that or you can grind them up and make them into a mushroom powder diana says that's what she's gonna do because you get the mushroom flavor without the actual mushrooms which i think i might try that because i'm not a big mushroom person actually i'm not a mushroom person at all we've had these before we've also had the lion's mane mushrooms before and i wasn't really a fan of either of them but i'll definitely give the mushroom powder a try so you never know we're here on an acre along the hudson river and we had this massive mushroom growing out of our trees so get out and forage in your backyard now is the perfect time to be foraging because you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> Jan and Diana were so excited when they walked around the corner of my backyard and saw that mushroom. That is the first thing that they mentioned. Forget the view. Forget the river. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that chicken in the woods. <laughs> they are making their way back to Missouri and I miss them so, so much already. I still cannot believe that they got me. <laughs> Jan put out a couple videos of her time up here with Diana, so make sure you go and check those out. Like I said, get out and forage. If you're unsure what a mushroom is, either do your research on books, you can join local foraging sites on Facebook. Those are amazing. I guarantee you have one in your area. I know Jan and Diana have a Missouri foraging group. <laughs> I have a 518 foraging group up here, an upstate New York one, so they're out there and they are so, so, so knowledgeable and they're always willing to help new people get into foraging. Well, thanks for checking out this video and let me know in the comments down below how you use your chicken of the woods. Do you just fry it up? Do you dehydrate? What do you do when you dehydrate it? What is your favorite way to cook it? Let me know because this is all new to me and maybe I just haven't had it the right way. Maybe you'll tell me this is how you should be making it and I will try it and I'll be like, oh my gosh, where's this been all my life? <laughs> we will see you guys on the next video.